Hey guys, this is Margaret with How to Get Popular on the Internets Without Really Trying, or How to Use Basic Trolling Tactics and a Lack of Human Decency to Gain Followers if You Don't Produce Any Worthwhile Content. Now, this is a great method for lazy people because it's all about learning how to use aggressive, outbound, poorly directed, and overblown criticism. But I don't recommend this method for anyone who produces original content, be it YouTube videos, expressing your own opinion, or even funny animal vines. Because if you want to be an effective troll, you can't have anything associated with your tag except for your trolling. Because this method doesn't work if the person you're intentionally pissing off starts saying mean things about what you make. War has changed. So this is all about how to troll yourself popular. First step, create a Twitter account, without your name on it, preferably. When you have a real-life name, then you might get real-life backlash for the insane things that you're saying. Using an anonymous nickname gives you a nice, cozy security blanket. Using your real name is helpful if you've stopped producing useful content and you want to hang on to your influence for a little while longer. Instead of reading my blog, go check out my Twitter feed, where I will be picking a fight every day. Every day. Second step. Find somebody slightly more popular than you. Start tweeting dumb things at them. Don't directly attack any of their arguments or assertion, because that would be reasonable discourse. Find one of their assertive tweets and start writing insane diatribes full of personal projection. If you have daddy issues, this is a great time to accuse the person you're tweeting at of also having daddy issues. If they don't respond, that's alright. Just keep tweeting until you finally say something so crazy that they have to retweet it to their followers just to say, hey, get a load of this guy. Now, the old advice is still true. It's don't feed the trolls, which in a convoluted interpretation means if I can just get that person to retweet me once, then I know that they're reading all of my mean tweets and I'm totally getting under their skin. And now I will continue to tweet weird stuff at them with one hand down my pants. You really have to remember that these people would never say what they're tweeting to your face in a one-on-one -on -one situation. They're tweeting for audience feedback, not for themselves. Step three, start hassling everybody who responds to whatever your target retweeted, never once addressing the original issue. Use as many slurs as possible because you're looking for validation that people are indeed reading your tweets. Now the end goal of a Twitter troll is to get blocked. They usually will screen cap the block and then tweet that as confirmation that they totally got to you. Now, just to be clear, getting blocked for something inane and then reposting it is not only for trolls. It really can be funny when somebody loses their marbles over something really innocent. But getting a target to block them is the only trophy available to the trolls. Step four. Now, by this point, you should have gained a few followers because you're retweeting your hilarious childish exchanges. The followers are there because they want to watch a fire burn. And as long as you keep delivering on starting a garbage fire every day, you'll just keep gaining followers and influence without ever producing anything besides some annoying tweets. When you get to a few thousand followers, then you can start complaining whenever an account refuses to respond to you. You can start tagging them constantly and call them too cowardly to talk to you. Now, this really screws it up for people who are trying to have something resembling a discussion, because often when somebody running an account gets to a certain point, they just start assuming that all criticism is just trolling for blocks, and then they start mindlessly blocking everybody who approaches them with anything other than hallowed, sacred reverence. Normal people who post or tweet criticism write as if the author will read it. Trolls aren't writing for their target. They're writing for the combined audience of their target's followers and their own followers. And everybody hits that boiling point in a different time. Oh, and make sure to never troll down. You only have followers because they want to see you be a schoolyard bully. And it's not fun to watch a troll beat up on some small time account. It's only fun to go after the bigger guy. Step five. You either get doxxed and publicly shamed or you get banned from Twitter. There! Now you too know how to troll yourself popular. Just to recap, Use an anonymous account if you're starting from nothing, or use your real name if you've just plain given up on producing original content. Never tweet anything that could be reasonably replied to. Turn all of your tweets up to 11 and make sure that they have nothing to do with the topic at hand. The more confusing the tweet, the better. Trolling is for the audience's benefit, not for the benefit of furthering an argument. And lastly, only go after people whose followers' reactions will create fodder for both you and your own followers to pile in on. One note on that last bit. If you're trying to figure out if somebody is a troll, take a look at what they've actually produced. If their Twitter and their YouTube is nothing but calling out and criticizing other people, then that's a troll and you can safely ignore them and go about your day. If the only content that somebody is producing is just a list of reactions to their trolling behavior, then they're just a straight up troll. But again, if the person you think is trolling you has produced actual, non-critical content, then they're probably being sincere. Okay, you know the drill. Like and subscribe down at the bottom.
This is one of the few times where I don't really know what sort of questions to ask in the YouTube comments. I guess you could probably try to troll me down there. I guess that could kind of work. I guess that's relevant to the video. Or don't.